Greetings, this is Sean, and today I'm going to be making this a door for my conservatory, my steampunk conservatory. And the hinges that you see there are actually a design created by Heather Tracy of Thicket Works, and I'll link her video below to show how I did it. Uh, but I made them out of brass instead of paper, so um, I'll do another video later how I cut the hinges and whatnot out of brass. And to, first I'm going to start off um, by staining the door. And I found these uh, stain markers at Walmart the other day on their clearance rack. I think I paid like two bucks for them. This one here is dark, dark walnut, which is what I'm going to be using. The other one was an American walnut, which was a little bit lighter. So I'm going to go with the darker color on this. And this is a brand new pen, so all you have to do is just shake it up really, really well. And you can see there by the tip that I've never used it. And all you do is you just push the little plunger down, the tip down, and it fills it with the stain. And you just start painting. It's pretty amazing. It dries really, really quick. It's alcohol-based, so it dries very, very fast. Um, and it's, ma it's actually made for, like, touching up on your furniture and that type of thing. But I thought, I'm going to give it a try on this door just to see how well it does. Anyway, I'm just going to speed through this and stain the door, both all the edges and both sides of the door. And yeah, it does leave streaks, but yeah, it's okay. Remember, this is supposed to be a dilapidated old building, so it won't look that out of place by, by having the streaks like this. It really does bring out the grain of that basswood pretty well. The door itself is uh, seven and a half inches tall by three inches wide to represent a typical door three foot wide by seven and a half feet tall. And I think that stain did a pretty good job. I may use that more and more. Anyway, I'm getting ready to attach the hinges next. And for that, I am going to use the um, just some CA glue. And I'm trying to evenly space them out, which I do here at the beginning, but as you'll see later on, I miss it by about half an inch when I actually glue them on, so... But, that's yeah, okay. Ain't no big deal. And later you'll see that I will be attaching the other half of the hinge with a toothpick. The toothpick is just temporary, um, just to hold them so I don't lose the pieces is basically what I do the toothpick for later on. And of course, as all CA glue bottles are typical of, it's clogged, so I have to clean up the tip real quick. <laughs> and I thought I got it right the first time, but nope. Try again. Hey, there we go. Anyway, I'm just going to glue those in place. And all I'm doing is I'm just uh, butting it up against the hinge that's being held by the tweezers there so that it's, you know, all flat and even and nice and straight. And there you can see I, that middle one I missed by about half an inch. I was trying to line it up with the grid on my mat, but I picked the wrong line to line it up to. But anyway, here I'm grabbing some toothpicks, like I said before, just to hold those pieces in place so that they don't... Uh, I also wanted to make sure that the holes were, you know, didn't get squished or whatnot while I was putting it together so that they were still all workable. So anyway, that's the door and the hinges. And the next part, I'm going to be making a doorknob using some gear pieces that I've got. And um, there they are right there. I'm going to take those four and I'm actually going to end up doing this twice because, and I will... When I get to it, I'm going to slow down a little bit so that you can see what CA glue accelerator does to CA glue. And it, I'm sure many of you have seen it, but I just wanted to put it out there. And uh, some of those pieces are watch parts, like the two that I'm putting together are actually from watches, as well as the other one. The big one is just a, the big copper one is basically just a jewelry piece that I picked up with a bunch of other, you know, cosmetic jewelry type pieces. And here what I'm trying to do is uh, push the hole down onto the peg of the one gear there that's on the bottom. 
which goes through nice and easily. And same with this one. And like I say, I'm making a doorknob. Here I am gluing it to that base piece there. And here's where you're going to see what CA glue does to, or the accelerator does to the glue. That's where it's going to sit, right there. See, what I'm trying to do is fill that. I, I got the, that got it glued to the door, but now when I try to fill this in, and watch how quickly it happens too. I'm just gluing, trying to glue that, those three that I put together onto the big one, and just filling in the gaps a little bit so it'll hold hold fast. And then when I spritz it, watch how quickly this happens right here. clouds up and it looks so ugly so I end up taking that off just get rid of that clean it off a little bit and I'm just gonna basically make another one and attach it to it except I'm gonna go about it a different way put the post on there first, and then put the other two pieces on. Just like that. And that's a nice little door handle. I'm just going to barely tip, put a drop of glue on the tip of it, just to keep it from coming apart. I'm not going to spray it with CA Accelerator this time. Anyway, um, that's the building of the door. And next, this weekend, I'm going to be actually putting it into the, the conservatory. Hope you'll stick around for that. As always, have a better day.